two and unusual characters. Before I go, I couldn't leave you without giving you a few more updates on some of our most anticipated upcoming films. In January, we'll begin filming Thor, Love and Thunder with director Taika Waititi and Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman and Tessa Thompson returning. And I'm pleased to confirm that Academy Award winning actor Christian Bale is playing the villain, Gore the God Butcher. Thor Love and Thunder releases in theaters on May 6th, 2022. What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name's Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Thor Love and Thunder, you guys, is going to be underway starting shooting in January in a couple of weeks. And I'm excited to see what Taika Waititi has up his sleeve for the sequel to Thor Ragnarok. The rebirth of Thor that we all needed because before that, Thor was bland and boring. Even Chris Hemsworth himself said, we need to try something new, please. And I'm happy they, you know, they, they got Taika to come in and really redo this character because he needed a huge upgrade. And Thor Ragnarok got me loving this character so much. He's one of my favorite Marvel characters. Cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen in Thor Love and Thunder. Now, Kevin Feige did confirm. Yes, the Academy Award winner, Christian Bale, Batman, Psycho, is going to be playing Gore the God Butcher. Now, I had to go up and do my research about this particular character because a lot of people were like, oh, Gore the God Butcher, this is going to be interesting. Now, with a name like that, there's going to be a lot of gods in this movie. It's going to be interesting. And you got Christian Bale, you got to utilize him. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm still surprised Christian Bale was like, you know what? Sure, I'm fine. Let's do this. I'm, I'm you know, a Marvel movie. So happy. Most likely it'll be a whole CGI performance. You probably will have a whole motion capture thing going on playing Gore the God Butcher. And I'm completely fine with that shit because it's Christian Bale. Now, I have to do my research on Gore the God Butcher. Essentially, this is a character who wants to destroy all the gods. So Thor, Mighty Thor, y'all in some trouble. Let's get into it. But Gore the God Butcher... Born on a brutal planet, Gore came to believe that the gods deserve nothing but butchery for refusing to answer the prayers of those in dire need, such as his dying wife and children. After, such, after suffering such losses, he didn't think gods could exist. But once he confirmed they did, he vowed to exterminate them all. So the fact that he managed to murder so many of them <laughs> is a testimony to his determination even more than his strength. Gore first battled Thor a millennia ago. Thor thought he had slayed him, but the God Butcher survived and grew stronger. Using the blood of the gods, he traveled through time. He later plucked Thor from three different ages and forced him to construct a bomb that would destroy the gods throughout the time and space. When all, sorry, when all <clears throat> the threatened gods Pray to Thor. However, Thor was able to stop the bomb and slay Gore. Interesting. Now, I already know Christian Bale can give a fantastic performance as Gore the God Butcher. No ifs, no ands, or buts. I, it's going to happen. Now, this particular character, I'm very much excited about after doing some research on him. We're obviously, you know, reading that. Uh, watching comics explained about the whole, you know, Thor the God Butcher. I actually have the God of Thunder comic book volume one coming to me on Sunday. So I can't wait to read that. That's essentially like the whole beginning and, and, and uh, origin story of his character. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into that. But I'm hyped for this particular character, the MCU. I really am. I mean, this is going to be a lot of fun. But Lady Sith will also be returning to Thor Love and Thunder. I think she last appeared was what? Thor the Dark World. And that was it. And that was what? A long time. That was like phase two. So it's been a cool minute. And I'm glad to see her back. Um, new release date also is going to be dropping May 6, 2022. Natalie Portman will return as Jane Foster. Also, she's going to be playing the goddess Mighty Thor. Curious to see if they do that original origin story of her Thor. With the whole cancer background. That's going to be interesting. I have no doubt in my mind that, you know, Natalie Portman is going to kill this role. That's going to be exciting. Um, what else? Chris Pratt is going to be praised his role as Star-Lord along other Guardians of the Galaxy. Because if you remember at the end of Avengers Endgame, this will go, you know, they go off on a whole mission and Thor leaves the whole, you know, 
new Asgard to Valkyrie. He was like, you're the king now. You, you take responsibility. This is yours. Um, also, man, can we possibly get better Ray Bill in this? I think there's a possibility. He was teased already in Thor Ragnarok as one of the champions, you know, uh, for, not the collector, the Grandmaster. So he's been teased already. I wouldn't mind seeing better Ray Bill in this movie. That would be dope as hell. Don't know what weapon he would use because essentially he uses the Stormbreaker. Thor has that now. You telling me he loses it? Are we going to get a part two of the unworthy Thor? Now he has nothing? That's going to be interesting to see what happens. But all in all, man, I'm excited. I'm excited for Thor Love and Thunder. I feel like this movie is going to be huge. Just look at the ensemble. They said this, this movie has the, the, the possibility of being like in another Avengers movie. It's going to be huge, huge cast for this movie. And I'm all with it. I think there's going to be a lot of fun. I feel like it's going to be an emotional movie as well. I feel like it's going to have its comedic moments, obviously, with this new rebirth of Thor and how his personality is so different. I'm hoping we get rid of bro Thor and, you know, he actually comes back and he's like super fit. I can't wait to see him with his new costume. Y'all, all in all, Thor Love and Thunder, I feel like it's going to knock it out of the park. And I can't wait to see what Tyke has up his sleeve. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Christian Bale being officially cast in Thor Love and Thunder as Gore the God Butcher. Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time in today for our CEO Productions. Peace. We out. We out.